hot day in June. The heat is hard on man and beast. My name is Murray Clark. I'm the senior bear trainer. My daughter and I will present three of our show bears to entertain you for a short while, and we intend to use all of these props one or more times. The Bear Act, as we call it, has been on since 1949. My brother and I started that year with four young cubs to teach and train for show work. But my family had kept bears since 1930. The pens over back here were built in 1938 to accommodate triplet cubs that had come to us in 1935, March of that year, and were raised for the first few months of their lives in the kitchen of our home across the way. 1935, that's the year I first handled bear cubs. And from then on, things developed. Bear Act went on in 49. None of our original show bears are with us today. Some of the most outstanding of them, however, are laid to rest over here in the flower garden beyond the gazebo. Ours live much longer than the cousins of theirs in the woods. Our bears have protection being private property, a balanced diet, plenty to eat, and a decent winter in a dry den. Medication they get if needed, but it is rare. The oldest I have, you'll not see today, she's retired. She's across the street behind my home at the edge of the woods, and she attained her 26th birthday last January. She's now living on Social Security, Medicare, two meals a day, has her own private bathtub, and she's got shade and grass and whatever else she needs. And right now, I suspect, she's lying on her back, feet up in the air, and sound asleep. Good for her. She and I worked together in the ring with her twin sister for 17 years. In the winter months, when our bears are damned up asleep, we do not feed them. The final meal was given on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. We do not feed again for three and a half Month. In the den, a bear and hibernation has no need of food. They worked hard the previous summer to build up their body, to build up a layer of fat tissue which sustains them throughout the winter. They do lose weight. A small cubby bear can only lose three or four pounds, but uh, as they age, they can lose various amounts of weight throughout the winter. This is the month of June, the marrying season. It's also the shedding season. And when they come in, you'll see their coats are faded brown and uh, falling out. We're grooming our show bears regularly, but it has to be taken out gradually. You can't pluck it all at one time. If you're concerned about their diet, you may rightly be. But I'd like to explain what their diet is. Not candy, soft drinks, popcorn, and junk food. The principal thing they live on here, these many, many years, has been and still is dog chow. Dog pellet. They think it's bear food. I've never told them otherwise. I don't show them the bag it comes in. It has a dog's picture on the outside, so we bring it in a pail. They receive a quantity of fruit and vegetable matter all of the time that they're in their waking months of the year. They have a fine diet. And although they're tattered and torn, it's not poor health. It's shedding, molting. And this hot weather is what brings it on and accelerates it. It'll be all done by the full moon of August. They're born in the winter, late January, about the 22nd of that month, provided there was a wedding the previous June. The cubs are small, less than a pound each, 14 and a half ounces average. Litters are small. You hear that whining back there? She wants to get in the ring. 
once you get in here and do her thing. Her name is Victoria. My daughter has spoiled her. They love one another. Let's uh, call it quits on the lecture and get her in. I know you folks are hot. So are the bears. So let's get on with it. Here comes Victoria, five years of age. Here's her trainer, Maureen Clark. The contents of the container is cow's milk with a little honey for sweetening. Of course, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Make her drink it. Actually, they like dairy products, and we give them milk, ice cream, and cheese. Wild bears even like the cows themselves. <laughs> Right now, the Hampton bear population is possibly 3,000 or so. They are eating a lot of grass, insects, frogs, mice. Precious little honey. Victoria thinks that all bears swing in chairs. <laughs> She's done a lot of it. No fear of the motion or the height. Good girl. Nicely done. Here's your weapon and there's the ammunition. She's gonna beat you if you don't hurry. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Good. A little ice cream to cool down the head and warm the pole. Down she comes. Her chariot awaits. And away we go. A chauffeur and a handmaiden. <laughs> We have a long list of wild bears waiting to get in. Oh, we have a, another member of the audience just spoke. Thank <laughs> you. 